are you thinking of buying a home or maybe you're selling? I always try to describe being a realtor for both buyers and sellers. It's like being Google Maps. Not using me or another realtor from the beginning is like blindly trying to get across a new city to the restaurant that you read about and you're dying to try on the other side of the city and you're hangry. Using me is like pressing get directions. My knowledge will get you there in a more direct, faster, and easier way, avoiding the crashes and stopping to ask directions on the way. If you are a seller of real estate, you need to watch this. If you're thinking about moving homes, it's time to make the call now. And it could be a call, text, or email. Even if you aren't planning on making the actual move for another six months or 12 months or longer, sellers should call earlier than buyers should, sometimes even a year or more before planning to make that actual move. The bottom line is, contact your agent whenever you have a question or need some help. I always tell my clients that that is what I'm here for and information is free. And don't we as humans always say that hindsight is 2020? So let's first talk about sellers. Contact your agent before doing any improvements to sell your home. So basically, at that time that you think that you want to sell, that's the time. You can do basic cleaning and repairing first, but be sure to call your agent before you do anything else. Your realtor, she knows your market and she can advise you on what changes will have a positive impact specifically for your home. What is recommended and sometimes what isn't, and it might surprise you. One thing that I always recommend people to do is go to open houses in your area to get an idea of your competition, what they're preparing their house looks like, what the staging, and also the pricing of the homes. Some things you should discuss with your realtor when you get together at your home are the current market value of your home. If you have any upgrades, they are going to impact the price of your home, right? What major repairs will be needed to be done, if any? Does it make any financial sense to even make the move? Let me tell you that I have met with potential sellers before and I have just straight up told them that your numbers don't add up. And if they make the move now, they might end up losing money. I just can't lie when it comes to numbers. They're factual. We can talk about staging, how we would best present your home, with your furniture or should we empty your house and bring in staging furniture now remember that staging it helps buyers imagine themselves in your home we can talk about necessary inspections for example in castor valley this would be the sewer lateral inspections there are also some other inspections that we can provide for buyers and they might include the roof a home inspection and a termite inspection if you're going to be buying after you sell, what's going to be available for you to buy? Maybe make buying tour of homes a thing to do. Stay in touch with your realtor and as you progress on this plan, and this is going to help us with a timeline. You need to sell and buy a home for your next move. You should be contacting your realtor ASAP. If your agent is annoyed that you've contacted him or her too early, that's not the agent for you. Your agent is supposed to be a resource, again, like Google Maps. It's gonna get you through that crowded city from one end to the other. I'm Casey Serafina Lee, your local realtor for the Hayward area. If you enjoyed this video, I would really love it if you would subscribe to my channel right down here and give it a thumbs up. If you like this video, you might like this video, or this video, or maybe even this video. And be sure to check out some of my helpful links in the descriptions below. See you on the next one.